was that age. Maybe it's, uh, I don't know, gas or vapor lock or whatever they call it. You're supposed to uh, jiggle him. Jiggle? Yeah. Okay. I don't think he likes it. Well, you're doing it wrong. Look what you've done. Yeah, it's always my fault. Shh. He's changing. Oh, God. Maybe we should feed him. Get the bottle. Tell me it's in there. Only you would steal an empty bottle. I didn't really have time to shop around. Now what are we going to do? I don't know, but if you stop talking, I might be able to think. What? Uh. Oh, no. No, absolutely not. Uh. They're warm. There's at least something in this country is. Uh -oh. It's all in the fingers. Or so I've heard. You want to do this? Any word yet? No. But every branch of our intelligence is waiting and listening. So are the Russians. Making a baby in a lab. Still creeps me out. Understandable. But the more I think of it, it may be a matter of survival for the race. How do you mean? Well, with the unbridled advances in computers and artificial intelligence, we may have to breed ourselves stronger, smarter, better just to keep up. Well, that's what some people think. Well, I for one hope you're wrong. Here, here. It's okay. Your arm's getting tired. I, uh, I can carry him for a while if you want. No, I'm okay. He's so good. Are you full now? Good little boy. X-35. You know something? What? We're going to have to give him a name. Yeah, sure. Okay, come on. Okay, he's a Russian baby. Let's call him Boris. Well, he's just as much an American. Well, I think we should call him Elvis. Oh, that's a ridiculous name. He doesn't even look like Elvis. Well, Boris sounds like a 300-pound weightlifter. Oh, look. Now you've upset him again. What? He's sensitive. You have to be nice. Damn, they're back. Get behind those trees. Quick. Quick! Oh, God. Do you think they saw us?
you think? I don't know. I wish I did. How's he doing? He's doing just fine. Gotta tell you, Olga, you're a natural. Well, he's a very sweet child. I don't believe it. Here, hold this. Oh, baby. <laughs> Somebody up there likes us. I got through Markovsky. Is he going to send someone to get us? No, Olga, we're in a war zone. But I got directions. He's clearing the way for us at the border. All we got to do is get to that checkpoint. Thank God. You know, I was just thinking, um, he doesn't look much like a walrus to me. Elvis? <laughs> what was I thinking? Well, then maybe we could, I mean, maybe we could call him Francis. Say what? He seems like a Francis. Uh, it'll be easy for us to remember. I... I don't know what to say. Well, then for once, say nothing. It'll only be till we get him back. Don't go for your car. Put your hands up. Come on. 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 No, no, he doesn't want to go with you. You're hurting him. Hey, hey, hey. Then take the woman too. This one. Take him over there, shoot him. We'll be up ahead of the road house. Don't worry about me. You hang in there and protect that kid, okay? Protect the kid. All right, all right. You got a train to catch. Bye-bye. Stoy. Down here? Alright. Keep here. I'm going. Okay. So where do you want me? Over here? This way? Or uh over here. Hey Chris, let's go over here to the back. Oh my god. Big butt! So the good. Good care of that child. The baby cries, we make you cry. Is that clear? I said, is that clear? Yes. <laughs> They'll never pay you a ransom if that's what you expect. I don't expect a ransom. I expect a genius who will bring our country out of the dark ages. I know the truth about that child. His father was Chechenitz. Andrei Kublev, a brilliant mind who headed the Russian bioweapons program. One day, this child will lead our people to complete victory over all the nations. Now. Change his diapers. Stinks. No. What is going on? Advance me here.
we glad to see you guys. Passporte. Oh. Passports. Uh, oh, well, uh, well, we kind of lost him. Look, Major Markovsky called ahead. Everything's okay. You've had no call. Get out of the car. Get out. 